Well, Chaz, we are celebrating Mint Julep Month. It is April here in Louisville, Kentucky, but we celebrate mint juleps all year. In fact, we're here at the Derby Museum in front of this vintage mint julep collection, a feature of Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby since 1939. But you know, Mint Julep Month isn't just about drinking mint juleps, it's about celebrating in general. You know, that's right, Stacey. There is more than just the mint julep drink. There are chocolates and lotions. And you know, several restaurants have their own variation of the drink. Um, but you know, we started off here because this is the classic. This is what really made the Mint Julep famous here at Churchill Downs and the Kentucky Derby Museum. That's right. So we're going to learn the drink's history. We're going to learn how to make one and we're going to have some. You ready? Yes, lots of them. Mint juleps, that's what we're here to talk about. Popular drink here at the track since 1938, roughly? Yes, that's right. 1938 was when uh, it became a mainstay, but it was actually a part of, um, the mint julep was a part of Churchill Downs uh, opening ceremonies uh, in the 1870s. I really feel that, that the mint julep um, is you know, has been carried by the Kentucky Derby. The magic of the, and the, the coolness of the mint julep, it's just always right. Speaking of making it right, I think we're gonna meet with one of the bartenders here at the Kentucky Derby Museum Cafe and have you talk us through making the right one at home. So mint julep is uh, mint, basically sugar water, bourbon shaved ice. Uh, there are little, several techniques to this. She is going to uh, put in a, a simple syrup here. Now, what you can do at home too, this is a, uh, because they make anywhere from 300 a, a day to 1,000 uh, to 2,000 in a week, uh, they have it fast and ready to go, but you can also uh, put a, you know, two spoonfuls of sugar in there and a uh, spoonful of water and make a little syrup that way, mix it in there. Now what is the difference between ice cubes and crushed ice? Does that make a big difference? Makes a huge difference because you have a, with with the shaved ice, you get you get you fill the entire glass. With an ice cube, you're going to have some geometric geometrical differences and you'll you'll have you won't have a, a full surface ratio here. And so when you put the when you put the whiskey in, as you can see, it it kind of it goes throughout and it really it becomes one. The, at this point, uh, after a little stir and she puts on the, puts on the mint, uh, the, the uh, whiskey, the water, the sugar, the mint, and the ice, it all becomes one. One note too is this powdered sugar is, is not always, uh, you know, it's not always on, on the mint juleps. That is a signature here at the Kentucky Derby Museum. That's the, they like to put that from an old classic recipe. Cheers. Cheers indeed. 